what's up guys welcome and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to automatically create a requirements of the txt file for your python project so most of you guys have been wondering how you can create the requirements the txt file automatically instead of uh, entering each python package like manually so in this video i'm going to be showing you how to do that so let's get started first of all what you're going to do you're going to install uh, a python package called piprex so you go to your command prompt so I'll just type cmd and then go to the command prompt and in the command prompt what you're going to do you're going to type pip install piprex something like that and press enter i've already installed the pip requirement the piprex package so that's why I have this output, but in your case, if you haven't installed it, it will install automatically. After that, uh, you're going to go to your to the folder of your project. In my case, this is uh, the folder I have uh, for the project. And uh, what I'm going to do, press on the shift key on the keyboard and then right click you will have something like that like you hold the shift key then right click and then you open you go to the open powershell window here so that option will open the windows powershell and uh, we are going to enter a command uh, called uh, pip rex the python package you have just installed so you're going to enter only that and then press enter so this option will generate for you the requirements the txt file for your python project so when i press enter it should uh, start generating the file so i have here successfully saved requirements the success successfully saved requirements file in that path so when you go back to your folder where you open the powershell you will have a new file called requirements.txt file when you open it up you will see that you have all the python packages you have used in your project and the other version numbers for each of them uh just one last thing uh if you do not want to bump into errors while generating this uh this requirements the txt file it's much better to use uh, the encoding format you can visit the documentation for this package on the website and uh, it's much better to use the encoding option such that you don't find any encoding errors so for example to generate uh, requirements the txt file for this same project what we will do you're going to type pip rex and then uh, call the encoding option equals so the encoding format we are going to use is utf8 and press enter so that should uh, generate the requirements so it has it, it already exists so to generate to, re, to regenerate to rewrite overwrite the already existing option we are going to use the force command and that should uh, generate uh, a new python requirements the txt file for our project so it has been generated and when you open it up it's the same so it's much better to use this encoding format because i realized you can have encoding decoding errors when generating your t requirements file so that's it guys that's uh, what i had for you this today so if it worked for you don't forget to like the video cheers